Hello, my name is Gabe Zolna. You know, when I filled out my absentee ballot, there was a couple of interesting things that I noticed on it. Number one, it came in an envelope. It had my address, it was addressed to me, and it required my signature. Now, those absentee ballots that we have here in uh, Arizona, I'm sure, are typical across the country. In other words, those three elements comprise the ballots. You have the ballot itself, it requires a signature, and it has the person that it was addressed to. Now, how difficult would it be to go to Florida or to go to uh, Virginia or to go to Ohio or go to Wisconsin and just take one at a time? Go ahead and review each and every absentee ballot to verify that, number one, the person that is uh, on the envelope is, in fact, the person that signed that document. And it's easy to verify that because you simply make a phone call. Hey, Dave, uh, I'm with the so-and-so, and, -so and we're curious. Uh, we noticed that you submitted your absentee ballot. And what you're going to find is a great number of those people will say, we don't know what you're talking about because they never did submit those absentee ballots. Now, if we find major voter fraud in, for example, let's say Florida, then we can migrate to another one of the key states and see if, in fact, that occurred there as well. And then now, it, as far as the actual votes where people went to vote, there's no way of verifying that, especially in the states where ID isn't required. And the reason that is, is a person can go numerous times, which I'm sure they have, and vote. So there's no way of verifying that. In the states where ID is required, uh, that isn't too difficult to verify. But I think the key here is the absentee ballots. I really believe that the truth can be determined as to who really should be in the White House in this coming year. And that would be by reviewing and verifying each absentee ballot. And let's not forget, let's also count the military ballots that weren't counted. They weren't counted for a whole lot of different reasons. One of them was that an airplane crash coming out of Afghanistan, but that was like two months before the election. There was ample time, and there still is ample time, to get those in and counted. The American people deserve to know who should be in the, in the Oval Office, and our military should know that their votes do in fact count. They put their lives on the line for our senators and our congressmen that really don't know what they're doing. Why would you send people to go fight in the country for 10 or 11 years when you can't win that war? There's, you can't win, but that's a whole different kettle of fish. I'll talk about that later. The key now is to make certain that the Americans that vote, their votes count and they count for the representative of their choice, not the representative of the Chicago machine. And that's exactly what we have right now. Demand a recount of all absentee ballots. It is our right. It is what's expected of an American to stand up for what's right. Thank you.